Grayson, how good was it to, to find the offense, find your offense, and being able to score it a little bit tonight? Yeah, felt good to see the ball go through the hoop. Um, I still feel like I didn't shoot it that well. Like two of those open threes, I'm getting wide open threes. Um, so those those have to be like layups for me. Um, but I mean, seeing the ball go through the hoop, hitting three of them, that felt good, especially after the first two games. The last thing I had was in transition. Uh, when you took off, I said, oh, he. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you tell me, who, who, would you like, I'm finishing this one, and just maybe just take us through that a little bit. Uh, I was, it was kind of a waiting game. Like I, I kind of wanted to see what he was going to do because I had, I don't know, somebody on my right. I think Kev was on my left. Um, so I wanted to see if he was going to commit. And uh, once it got to the point where he's like in the charge circle, I knew I was going up and trying to dunk it. That feel, I mean, what was it? Have you done that in recent years? Or that, yeah, man. Last year I had, a, I had a nice dunk last year. You got to look that one up. Last year's was, was way better. Who was that against? Uh, the Pacers. <coughs> yeah. Chris, you had a couple tough balls in, in the second quarter and then the early third quarter, and then you had 14 in the third. Was that just a coincidence, or was that a bit of frustration boiling over and you were able to take it out? Of Channel it the right way? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know it's a delicate area for you. So uh, no, nah, it's... Uh, no, I think it was a lot of coincidences. Uh, <laughs> um, I was in the right spot to make plays. Like I said, like I got a lot of open looks. Um, a few of those fast break drives and when the floor is spread. I um, was able to make a couple plays defensively. Like It all just started to kind of come together there in that third quarter where on both ends I was able to make a bunch of good plays. It felt like the defensive intensity was just at another level another notch tonight, uh, at least from my side looking in. Did that feel that way for y'all as well on the court? Uh, I think so. Um, I think we've we've played good defense to start the season, like first two games, pretty good defense. Um, we also have had a lead in games that we've given up. So I think the third quarter and really fourth quarter too, that was kind of in the back of our mind. Like we built a little bit of a lead Let's expand it. Let's bury this game, put it away. Um, so that's probably part of the reason why our third quarter was so good. We had that extra little motivation. Like, we, we got the lead. Let's finish it. Terry had the big stat line with 39 on Thursday, but what he was able to do tonight as a playmaker uh, with more of, like, a limited shot making, can you just speak to what that did for the offense at the start of the game when he was setting everything up? Uh, yeah, he's a really good passer. Um, Obviously, Kev has a great feel for the game as a scorer, and when he's drawing extra guys, like we, I don't think we did a very good job last game of giving him openings and kind of helping him out when they were trying to get the ball out of his hands. And um, we drilled it a little bit, and tonight we were prepared for it. Um, did a much better job of giving him outlets, scoring cuts, guys kind of sliding into space, giving him spots for threes, and um, he's a great passer, so he was able to find us. I imagine there are a few better feelings for you when you guys throw to him in the mid-post and you're one pass away, so yeah. you're about to get an open three or it's going to be that one-on-one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that was the spot I loved the last two years in Milwaukee, too. With the same with Giannis, like, throw it to him and play the game of chicken. If my guy helps, I'm ready. Um, so I like being in that spot, and just kind of sliding back and forth, hoping, hoping to get an open look. There's been a lot of talk about you guys not having a true point guard for the team, but 31 assists tonight. Um, do you feel like you guys are, you know, are figuring that out by just passing, you know, all the way, all the way around the line? Yeah, I think uh, it's something we'll get a lot better at. Like when we play within the flow of the game and the game doesn't slow down, it's really, really easy for us. I think it's more of a challenge when. Uh, it slows down a little bit. We have to set something up. Um, you know, we have different guys handling it. So that's more of a comfortability thing that will come after a few games where it doesn't matter who's bringing it up, doesn't matter who's initiating the offense. We all know the spots that we can be in, and um, guys can kind of fill different areas on the floor. Um, but really, it's just point guard by committee, 
I mean, even on made baskets, like whoever's closest to the ball is getting it out. Everyone else is filling the lane. Um, and it's flowing down into the office. Like we're getting a lot of stuff in transition on makes and misses. It's like three on three, four on four, because we're getting the ball out so fast. So um, when we play like that, like there's, you don't need a true point guard in that sense. You just need a, someone to start it off. What's your chemistry been with Eric Gordon so far? In this yeah, it's been great. Um, EG can really score the ball. Um, these first few games, we've kind of been in tandem of uh, being primary ball handlers and bringing it up. And really, it's just a game of <laughs> whoever gets the ball or whoever is not being picked up full court at the time, like just get it across and get us into stuff, kind of use the pressure. If other teams want to pressure us, use it against them. And but, I mean, he's a. I've, I've, I've seemed to find him a lot, like when I'm driving and I kind of turn my head, he's sliding, he's always open for three. So I feel like we kind of got a good good thing going. Grayson, speaking of Eric, earlier today, you said that, like, um, obviously you guys had one last game, but you really liked how you guys have been competitive, even without Book and Bradley. So um, given that, and it's the third game, and you guys have a win like this, how good is that for you? Uh, it's great. I mean, guys are stepping up. We have a really good next man mentality, next man up mentality. A uh, big scoring night tonight from from EG, mostly in the first half. He he went crazy, but uh, within our offense, like we're getting a lot of good looks, and we have a lot of guys that can shoot it, score it in different spots. So um, it's not really a surprise to see EG have a twenty point half, or you know, another guy hit a bunch of threes. Like that's kind of the faith that we have and everyone on the team, on the roster. Like, a lot of guys who can shoot 40% from three out there. What has Coach Bolton kind of told you what he expects from you offensively, what he wants to see from you until, you know, uh, Book and Brad get back? Uh, I mean, not really anything different with, with them out versus when they come back. Um, I still think, like, we've talked about me being aggressive and – and the break, whether it's fast break or kind of a secondary break and getting to the paint and being a scorer or having eyes out for guys on the three-point line. And uh, obviously that's even more dangerous when it's Book and Brad out there. Um, and then like I was doing tonight off of Kev or off of other guys' drives, like slide into space, being a threat from three to being ready to let it go. And uh, same defensively, competing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.